Tonight, several people are recovering after they were exposed to what investigators described as life threatening levels of carbon monoxide at a Marysville hotel. Marysville police saying 14 people were hospitalized, including six kids. Tonight, 10 TV's Richard Solomon live in studio with reaction from a man who was staying at that hotel. Richard. Yeah, Yolanda Andrew, Nick Holmes is a wrestling coach with Taze Valley Youth Wrestling Program. He told me he was supposed to be in that pool area last night. He did say out of the 14 who were hospitalized, three were wrestlers and four were parents. But Holmes did give me comforting news this evening. He says he has spoken with some of them and they are recovering right now. I think God was watching because I don't, I don't know how all those people got pulled out when they did. I mean, it's just a miracle. Holmes says the youth program was competing in a youth league championship at Benjamin Logan High School in Bell Fountain. On Saturday night, several families checked into the Hampton Inn in Marysville. Holmes says more were supposed to go, but didn't. We picked a hotel with a pool. We were all going to swim, go to dinner as a team, and then, you know, wake up and wrestle hard in the morning. He was on his way to the hotel when he started getting messages of what happened. Marysville police say several people, including a two-year-old, fell unconscious after they were exposed to life-threatening levels of carbon monoxide in the pool area. Tonight, Nick shared with me that seven out of the 14 who were hospitalized have been released, including the two-year-old. It sounds like everybody's out of the woods and things are starting to look up. Holmes told me to honor those who were injured. They wrestled in the tournament today and they beat every single team. Holmes says his number one concern is that they will recover and be able to live normal lives. Such great news this evening.